da 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 How do you like this hat? Got it at PAX, although it won't fit my big head. So I was kind of do. oh, did that look like a sombrero to you? That's awesome. Rock that for sure. <laughs> One of the cool things about going to PAX is uh, so many booths have so much free stuff. And I'm going to go over some of the free stuff I picked up, some of the stuff I purchased at PAX, and the fun that I had. I was there um, with Metal Jesus, and we met a lot of friends along the way, too. And we played some games, some of them you've heard of, some of them you've never heard of. And it's always those games you've never heard of are the ones I seek out and they become my favorites of PAX. So I'm gonna go over a few of the games I saw, some of the stuff I picked up, some of the people we met, and we're gonna check it out right now. Here we go. All right, this, this is why we don't show up early. It's true. This is a whole, th these were packed with people waiting to get in. Literally, what, 20 minutes ago? If that. <laughs> and they're all in there now. They're all in there, they're walking around. I see them down there. Yeah. Too many things. So we're at PAX. This is 2017. We like to sleep in. We're lazy. <laughs> hey, we had better stuff to do. We did. Playing roundabout on PS4. Come on. That's right. Uh, All right. Jamestown Plus. Yeah. Shooter. That's a great game too. Awesome game. All right. Uh, you already have your pass. I need to find mine. I'm looking for Will Call. I got to find a guy named Will and call him. You need to call him. I'll call him some if he doesn't give me my pass. Call Bill. Bill. Oh, Will hates it when you call him Bill. Oh, oh let's not do that. All right, let me see if I can find my pass here. Excited? Yes. This is the escalator. This is the escalator. And then they got packs. Oh, up here. I like these lanyards. It's like Monster Hunter uh, World. Oh, it's blurry. Oh no! All right, well, we've got one more escalator. We're trying to do the traditional es escalator selfie. Es one-handed. Es escalator. Yeah. I can. I can only do everything one-handed. Well, All right. Uh, All right. Wait, wait. What are you not, referring to, John? Nothing. <laughs> All right, go for it. Selfieception, here we go. <laughs> All right, I think we're good. All right, we're gonna look around and we'll see what we can find and see who we can find. I don't know. No Kinsey and Devolver today. No, we cried, single tier. Yeah, one tier only. All right, I'll see her tomorrow though. I'll see what else we can find. Yep. We, found, we found her. We found oh, one. No, this is just a video. Hi. Hi. All right, tell us about your booth. This thing is packed. You, you said this was demolished. This looks awesome. We, we tried. All right. I love it. A record day yesterday. A record, a record day. day. All right. And can we top that record today? No. Okay. <laughs> well, we'll do our best. Awesome. Good to see you as always. Bye. Nobody told you that so much of your PAX experience is writing called Escalators. It's true. Very, very fancy. <laughs> Not bad. Better than, better than walking, I guess. So in the background, you see PAX. Things happening over here. And then what looks like the most random garage. It's dark. <laughs> I know. It's like when we're like a, like a, There we go. That's as bright as I can only do on this one. Okay, so you got. It's very dark. It is. You need a new camera. I do. I know. We're not doing the sex back here. I know. <laughs> this is the dingiest. Yeah. Like, maybe, yeah. maybe. Know, All right. When the cameras are off. Yeah. All right, tell, tell me about the, uh, the specialness there. This is the, uh, I mean, I don't know that much about it yet, but I know they put out a PC-sized version of what help you out Oh, thank you. Oh, see, look at this. It's got special lighting now. You get all your details. Yeah, I know. So all my tired bags. <laughs> oh, yeah. no, dude, Adam. What? That is my I never pass. sleep. I never sleep. What, what happened? What did you do yesterday? Did you do any of those after parties and all that? I keep hearing yeah, about. Yeah, I was at the YouTube party. I was. Oh, at, uh, I didn't get an invite for that. No. You just kind of walk over there. And oh, see. <laughs> okay. No, I, I, I went to. I went to the YouTube party. <laughs> okay. I went to uh, Kelsey's panel, which you didn't go oh, to. Oh, I know. I just got it. I just got here today. Gamer panel. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, Mega was there. The All right. Ubisoft loss. I did a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, there we go. You and your your Ubisoft connection. There's Doug. Hi, Doug. Hello, Douglas. Hi. All right. There we go. Justin. Hi, Ben. Hello. All right. We're at the Limited Run Games booth, and we're gonna look around some more. I'm at Indie Box. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm at Indie Box. You guys are awesome. Thank you. You're awesome. You do, you do the uh, physical copies, uh, download games, and, like, and every game comes with free stuff. That's what I love about it. I love the little trinkets, the poster, the uh, action figures. What are we looking forward to? What kind of games? Uh, embargo, come on now. Uh, okay, okay. All right, looking forward to it. Indie Box, these guys, they're awesome. Thank you. Tell me all about it. So, this is Haunted Halloween 86. It's a sequel to our game from a couple years ago called Haunted Halloween 85. It's, uh, we made a much bigger game this time around. We have a uh, tactic style two player. Nice. Uh, more you know, bigger bosses, bigger world, and more power up moves. We wanted yeah. to make everything 
better than the first one. Push it as far as yeah. you possibly could. 100% homebrew, made from scratch, huh? We made everything from scratch. We didn't hack or reskin anything. We made our own entries from the ground up in the first game. And just really built on that for this game. That's right. All those jerks just taking games that are already out there and hacking the graphics and all that. What a bunch of what a bunch of losers. losers. What a bunch of well, losers. You no, know, we just that's not our scene. So we want to, <laughs> want to make something new. We want to make the game that we that's right. to play. We want exactly. To have those experiences be our own. That's right. These, these and they're very very well done. Very very well done. Yeah. You're gonna see. I got I got a couple of them right here. I got a couple of them right here. So we're gonna check them out here right quick. Grab any random game. <laughs> you have you have this game being demoed right over there. You're playing as literally a box rolling around. Here, right? It's so awesome. It's so cool looking. Uh, tell us about uh, this is this is awesome. This is a signature edition game, right? Yeah. Zero zero. And, and what do you do? You just take games and you put them on disc, huh? Take indie box games and box them up. Yeah. Put, uh, dead signatures on the front, soundtracks, yeah, that's true. Uh, books, etc. This and is then, so cool. Uh, sell them directly off our website. Nice. Yeah, so, uh, or directly here at PAX. They have a couple of them here. Here at PAX. Yeah. Exactly. Adam's actually, Adam's literally buying one, literally one of each right now. Yeah. I'm all couldn't miss out. I'm probably actually going to have to pick this one up and maybe another one too. But, but very, very cool stuff. Oh, Switch. Really? Oh, dude. So there you go. Switch games around. Awesome. Thank you. Four escalators, Adam. So much of this is all escalators. <laughs> this is our third year running, I think. Mm -hmm. It's now a tradition. And this time we have Adam joining Yo, us. Yo, what's up? Um, and we'd like to thank uh, Sushi Kudasai in Seattle for sponsoring the PAX 2018 <laughs> venue. What? What did we find? K31, what's That's up, it, guys? Man. Good. Uh, hey, you're in line for Cuphead. Yeah, I don't have my hat. But... Add on. Oh, sure, I know, it's so weird. Mine, I it's so, so shiny up there. I know, I'm blinding everyone. I'm, <laughs> I'm getting there. I'm, I'm doing the slowly but natural method, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Give, give me a couple yeah, years anyway. Uh, hot up a game on Expo? Yes, yes. Big year for you this year. That was the third year, it was good. I'm happy it's over. It was a lot of work, but we're already playing uh, net for next year. Cool. So, yeah. All right, next year, look out for it. Tell you, game on Expo 2018 is going to be big. It's going to be big thank time. You, I you. might be there. Of course, man. What the heck? This guy might be there. These guys might be there. Yeah. yeah. We'll see. All right. I'd love to. Take care, John. Cheers. Here it is, Thimbleweed Park. You've got my man here. Yeah. Um, it's available for Steam, of course. I came out for Xbox One, PlayStation 4. And I see it over there working soon on Switch, huh? Yeah, so we hope to launch on Switch within the next month. Oh, dude, that's so awesome. The platform, I think the game feels really at home on it. It really does. It's easily one of my top five favorite games of the year. Easily, of all, of all games, I'm telling you. It's that, it's that good. It's that good. It reminds me of those old school uh, point and click and punch style games. So, you gotta check it out for sure, man. Thimbleweed Park, dude. A lot of people are trying to get Metroid. That's what I was told. I think those are Metroid. Alright, this is from Limited Run Games. And that's one of everything, right? Basically? Is that is that all 80 releases? It is. From the beginning of time to now. Okay, so yep, there's Breach and Clear for Vita. And Saturday morning RPG, and the Saturday morning RPG is right here. And then one, two, three, I mean, this just goes all the way down. Wow. That's everything, all in one all in one convenient spot. I think it's, it takes my favorite part of the on. So I've had a Hobby Lobby for like $30. Oh, there you go. <laughs> the same price of your game, pretty much. 30 bucks, you know? Works out all right. Well, day two now, I'm all by myself. <laughs> I'll find some friends inside here. Uh, 520 Pike Tower is where I like to park. If you're going to be here at PAX on the weekend, like on Saturday or Sunday, it's $8 all day parking. Uh, it's still, yeah, I know it's eight bucks, but compared to by the hour in the convention center itself, uh, pretty, pretty busy. And also it's like literally like two blocks away from the convention center. It's like right there. So, uh, so we can find today. That guy wants you to be vegan, apparently. Ooh. Look who we found! Hello. Happy birthday. Thank you. So what are we doing? Ah, <laughs> oh, it's too dark. There it is. Oh, and this is great because then you get poor Parker in the background. Oh, what is that? Yeah. Tell us about it. The uh, mysterious owner of the ball. Okay. He's, he's like a quadrillionaire. So. <laughs> looks animated. He looks like a. Uh, the Colonel Sanders evil twin. I like it. Alright. You're funny, I didn't even notice that up there until I just put this camera down there. I've taken a 
a lot of selfies with that? No. <laughs> well, it has, I can see the devolver thing, like, when you're, like, looking for it. That's where we can find you, right? Yeah. So there you go. And then you look up, that's when you find that. That's the, that's the secret. Special secret. All right. Well, we'll look around a little bit. Fun. Things so cool! This, I think, is, like, the 19th dragon I've seen today. <laughs> Super awesome. I love it. You know, I love watching the success of things, and I remember when Shovel Knight was just an indie game, an indie booth, kind of upstairs, sixth floor, and now they have their own thing on the main floor, fourth floor, with plushies, amiibos. You can check out the new game, King of Cards. We've got shirts for sale. This is awesome. Year of the Dragon, I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, that's kind of cool, though. This from a Warframe. Sweet. Super sweet. My goodness. Is there other Yesterday, I just said hi, but I actually bought something today. Could not buy something. I got one thing for myself, one thing for my wife, and another thing for my wife, I think. So, <laughs> I'll show you what they are when I get home. Guess what I found? Another dragon. Now, this is called Super, Super Slam Arena. It's cool because they have a little living room set up here with like different types of controllers to give it the uh, retro aspect. It looks pretty cool too. When in doubt, when you don't know what you're looking for, go to the PAX Rising booth. These are like kind of the uh, their top picks, their best of the best, a little bit of everything. Uh, you're sure to find a winner here of something you'll dig. Good stuff here for sure. State of emergency. Looks pretty cool though. Looks like for PlayStation 4. Yeah, sure. Oh, it'd be cool to see like this in a 3DS, so you can see like, the 3D depth and all that too. I understand. Uh, right. And then they don't move until you move. Looks like. Oh. Have another oh, I'm still. Once upon a puppet. This looks cool. It reminds me a little bit like Clockwork Night, you know. All the animation. Era heads for a player battle game. Soon to Steam. Soon to Steam. September 21st. I just played this a little bit. It's actually pretty fun too. Perfect party game. Here's the mechanics. We may not have played before. It's uh, left stick to move, right stick <laughs> to shoot. Here Alright, so timer rolls. Whoever kills the most and dies the less wins. This game's awesome. It's perception. Are you percept? Are you perceptive <laughs> I'm, in this I'm game? I'm very perceptive, yes. Yeah, so. uh, uh, tell, tell me about it. So, uh, it's a narrative thriller. We cool. play as Cassie, who's a blind woman, cool. but she uses echolocation. Ah, so, okay. she sees through sound, like that, um, and she uh, is exploring this mansion in New England. Right? And she, as she sees through sound, the problem is that there's something in the house with her. She ah. creates too much sound, she's going to come <laughs> looking for it. Uh, so, it's, it's very much about the tension and the atmosphere and the sense of dread as you, you go around exploring yeah. and looking for answers and why it's it's been calling to you for months and months and months and you're trying to figure out what uh, why, why that is. All right. I played it for a moment. I had a little bit of unease <laughs> walking around, not being able to see everything, but yeah, like you're talking about. It just it looks it looks it looks very cool. Now, did you get someone who was blind to kind of help you out with the development absolutely. of this and all that? Yeah, absolutely. So we were lucky enough to uh, speak with quite a few blind people. Cool. Uh, one of them was Daniel Kesh, who runs an organization called World Access for the Blind. 
Nice. And so he teaches blind people how to use that on location. Cool. And so we had dinner with him, and we're in downtown Boston where the streets are like pretty treacherous, right? <laughs> right okay. You get cobblestone, it's <laughs> uneven. And like my instinct was to be like, oh, be careful, but yeah. he was just falling ass down the street. All right. right? He just uh, do it. Yeah, and so he mountain bikes. Wow. He, uh, uh, you know, like he is, he is uh, one who use uh, use skateboard. Sure. And uh, so that was very inspirational for me. But uh, he also spends a lot of time talking to accessibility experts, right. uh, people at Yahoo, people, all, all the people who are, are pushing technology. So we have an app in the game called uh, Friendly Eyes that allows captions to connect with sighted people. Nice. And so they can describe what's going on in situations where, you know, I, I come from the Bioshock series, right? right? And you don't realize how much you're relying on, like, blood scrawls and that sort of thing. <laughs> something that a blind person wouldn't be able to see. Right. right? And so we use that to, to, to help okay. with that sort of narrative. Okay, awesome. <laughs> this may be my favorite game I've seen at PAX so far. Thank you. I'm looking forward to it. Um, yeah, and I see it. I, I see it Steam also, but I see Switch too. Yeah. So we just announced the Switch version, and it's going to be coming out very soon. We haven't announced it date yet, but uh, as soon as possible. We've got Halloween coming up around the corner, so nice. oh. get that out. Yeah. There we go. All right. And yeah, also P available. Yeah. Go ahead. PC, uh, uh, PS4, and Xbox One. Cool. Uh, um, right now. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. And so we're just about to release a major update with new modes and uh, lots of tweaks from events like this. All uh, right. So exciting stuff. Available, available right now in the the, uh, the download store, huh? Yeah. Phys absolutely. Physical copies at all. What's that? Uh, physical copies? Not yet. No, Not I'm yet. hoping, well, All I don't right. know if it's going to happen. Um, you know, we're a tiny team. It's, it's basically sure. just me and my wife. Okay. Uh, so <laughs> I, I'd, like, I'd like to make that happen, but nice. right now, digital only. Are you've heard of uh, limited run games. They do stuff no, on I digital. Talk to them, right? All right. Yeah, Did you yeah. talk to them already? I haven't. I should. Okay. They're, they're here. I'm guessing. Right? They're upstairs. I'm gonna send them down here and tell them to get a hold of this. Cause please do. All right. I love their work. To... Oh yeah. So. There you go. <laughs> You're a gamer too, obviously. Yeah. I'll think okay. That. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm just saying. You know. <laughs> Thanks, dude. <laughs> That's a free play arcade games here. Absolutely free. So thank you for coming in. Here. We got the classic. Oh, we got a steel battalion. A Saturn over there. A little bit of everything. You just check them out. You just check them out. You can play some games while you're in here. How cool is that? What? Yo! Yo! Finally! We I, finally meet, sir. I, we've been trying to meet up for the last, I think, year and a half or so. You played Yakima a while back. That's my hometown. Oh, my God. And that was the year I couldn't make it, man. It and was a terrible show. I, so your presence <laughs> would have been welcome because there were like four people there. No, really? Four but people only? It was no, like I, a I bad, plugged, it, was I plugged bad it on the radio, too. Actually, you know what? The Yakima show wasn't that big. Okay, okay. All right. It's a great venue. They gave us lots of beer. But that, that helps. beer in Yakima. That, well, that's where all the hops go. The hop, the hop shop. All right. That's what it's called. Super hype. I just picked it up, so I'm glad I picked it up. You weren't here for a second, but I mean, you showed up right when right I I put my money right down. For some reason, I put my money on the counter and you appeared out of nowhere. Bing. That's how it goes. That's, you, that's you it, put man. You money around and it's like, I smell right. it. Uh, <laughs> anyway. Very, no, very you're, soon. You're a lot taller in real life. You know, I get that a lot. <laughs> And uh, very, very soon at conventions, MAGFest, wherever you might be, there might be a special new item on your mm. table. You got discs, you got shirts, you got all kinds of stuff. It's all kinds of stuff. You're, you're missing something, though, but, uh, and very, very soon there might be a little something. Mm, my lips are sealed. All right. <laughs> my name's Bennett, and I ain't in it. Hey, happy birthday. Thank you. Dude, this is awesome. Oh, all right, man. <laughs> That's it. I'm leaving. I picked up some cool stuff though, so I'm gonna do an unboxing, unboxing, unbagging? I don't know, something. It's cool, I thought I could meet Mega Ran. Been waiting to meet that guy for a long time now, so. Always cool to see Kinsey and them, and Kelsey, and Cody. I didn't get a video of Cody. Aw, oh, man. I didn't grab a video of Cody. He's also a pink gorilla. So, all right, I'm gonna grab my car, and I will see you when I get home. Now, I only went Saturday and Sunday. Um, I didn't go all day Saturday and Sunday. On Saturday, we showed up a little bit after 10 o'clock when the crowd was already inside, casually walked in there, we grabbed our passes, went upstairs and had some fun. And then Sunday, I went uh, by myself, as you saw. Um, however, I got in a little bit before the doors opened. Um, and I actually saw the stampede of people running towards the Nintendo booth to play uh, Mario Odyssey. People running towards the Bethesda booth to play Skyrim VR and all that. Because when you don't, you're waiting in line at the very end of the line. That's a four-hour wait, man. But people, they, they pay their money, they fly in, and I want to give them the preferential treatment. I want them to have a place in line. I ain't waiting in line. I only waited in a couple of lines, um, and that was because those lines were super short. <laughs> That's how that works. Uh, the free stuff, I got the hat. You can check that out. It's a little, even on the last snap, um, it's still kind of tight. You know, 
these one size fits all. They don't consider they don't consider my big old cranium for this thing, but it's it's actually a pretty neat hat, so I'm still gonna hold on to it. One of my favorite things about packs is who is sponsoring the lanyards. And today's lanyard, as you can see, I'm actually, I can actually take this off. I don't need to wear this. I don't need to wear this. Um, it's from uh, Monster Hunter World. Monster Hunter World, and it's that nice lanyard material, so it doesn't feel like it's like you know ripping into your neck and anything like that too. So the lanyards were free as a thank you for stopping by. On the way out, I actually grabbed a handful of them because I can use them for work or something like that. So. We got some of those for you. Uh, while I was there, um, on Sunday, I ran into Mega Ran. Finally, I got the shirt. I got the shirt. What? Uh, man, um, I'm a huge fan of his work, and his new disc just dropped, just came out. So, um, fortunately, I'm glad he had those available for sale, so I made sure to pick up one of those as well. Um, my buddies at Retrotainment were there. They have the Haunted Halloween games. Um, they are Nintendo homebrews, so I got 95 and 96 CIB. So, cool to have these finally in the collection. Um, my buddies Limited Run Games were there, and we hung out with them for a bit, and you saw that in the video. And they had the PAX exclusive label for Ease Origins. I never have a problem jumping in, getting the games I want when it comes to Wonder Boy, when it comes to, um, I just I got it right here, you know, when it comes to, you know, Night Trap or anything like that. Just hop in, grab it, I'm good to go. But even though they opened it up for a 24 hour window, I was like, yeah, but they're gonna be at PAX. I'll just buy one from them. So I was able to get the, um, the fact that it's the PAX exclusive label, that's fine too. I just want to play the game though, so <laughs> that's just an added thing to it. Limited run games as well. And is there a new? Is there some? I don't want to call them a competitor, but these guys are. Looks like they're doing kind of the same thing. And this is called. They're from Signature Edition, and we talked to them a little bit. Signature Edition. They had a few games there. I've heard of Slain. I have copy of Slain. I didn't have Unbox, which is a game where you literally play as a box rolling around. So it looks pretty cute. And then this game called Yonder as well. Um, rated, a, like, what, Peggy 3 or something like that. Um, it's like kind of like Zelda without the fighting. There's, like, fishing and stuff like that. It just looks pretty. So I was like, you know what? I'll support the cause. They got a you know, great price on the show floor. So I grabbed those. And then as Limited Run Games does their cards, which I think is pretty cool, little collector cards, you know, stuff like that. Here's the Night Trap one, too. Uh, you know, they, they hooked up a few of those. Um, the uh, Signature Edition does these uh, weighted coins. They're kind of like a, you know, pretty uh, pretty solid coin there. So they got one for the Unbox, one for Yonder, and stuff like that. Um, very similar to the way they're made, like the Metal Jesus coins. So this, this, is, this is, might be a cool thing to look out for. So Signature Edition, watch out for them for sure. I stopped by Pink Gorilla. I stopped by there the first day, didn't buy anything. But the second day I came back, I was like, well, I gotta buy something, right? So I got a Pikachu and a Pikachu little coin purse type thing uh, for my wife and kids. And then um, for the 3DS, I've never heard of this game. Uh, but it looks kind of like the puzzles of Professor Layton style, but maybe without the Professor Layton. <laughs> so <laughs> seven bucks, not gonna turn that down. So I am a huge fan of Thimbleweed Park. It's one of my favorite games uh, currently, probably my, one of my top five favorite games of this year. Um, I saw them at PAX last year. They were my number one pick for like, man, this is the game you gotta watch out for, for PAX uh, 2016. This year, bigger presence, bigger booth, um, because now it's not just available for Steam and Xbox One, but now for PlayStation 4, soon on Switch. You can actually play it on Switch while you're there too. Um, and then a couple of things. now. The reason you want to follow companies when you're going to be at PAX is sometimes they'll tweet out like, hey, we got these free things, just say that you heard it on Twitter or something like that. So they had, check this out, they had a ThimbleCon, it's their uh, fictional uh, convention, ThimbleCon uh, lanyards. So I was like, I'll grab one of those for sure, man. Um, and had to support the cause too. I got the ThimbleCon t-shirt, the ThimbleCon 87 t-shirt, which, which comes with the official ThimbleCon 1987 uh, bumper sticker as well. I'm actually half tempted to put this on my car. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I might just I, I might just keep that as a, as a keepsake as well. Also picked up. I don't even use a mouse anymore. Mouse pad. Got the mouse pad. Nice and fluffy. That's yeah, cheap. And I I love the thing. They did have a ThimbleCon. ThimbleCon. They did have a Thimbleweed Park art book that looked beautiful. And I love video game books. Um, it was a little out of my price range for the time, but maybe down the line I might pick up the art book too. Um, and they gave me a card too, just for being there. They had these decks of cards that you could buy that had all the characters, but with every sale you get one, and a guy I got was Chuck. Yeah, I'll take it. It's free. Can't go wrong there. Finally, finally, um, they had these, which have been pretty sought after. The so Sonic Mania Genesis-sized manuals. Um, to get these, you had to play Sonic Forces. Twist my arm, all right, I wanted to play Sonic Forces anyway. Turns out to be pretty cool. Plays like Sonic Adventure a little bit. But when I saw them, I saw them all stacked up. I was like, ooh, how do I get one of those? She's like, well, those are for if you play 
so, uh, play Sonic Forces, there's the line. And I was like, oh, geez. And I turned around, and I saw the line, and for some reason, by stroke of luck, there was like three people in line. I was like, I can do that. So I just hung out for a little bit. I'm not much for waiting in lines to play a game, you know. Um, but played it, got the manual, and there was a, there's a second video, a separate video uh, that will be posted, um, or is posted now. Um, that just goes through the manual so you can see what it looks like on the inside. But very cool that they did this because I have a lot of friends that are doing the like the Genesis packaging and all that to see what it looks like and got the official manual to go with it now. So that's what I picked up. Those are my picks. Thank you for watching. My number one pick, my number one pick for PAX 2017 uh, is this game right here. It's like a, um, like a walking sim, right? Uh, but available, I, I the version I played was for Switch. Um, but it's available now for uh, PS4, Xbox One, Switch here in about a month. And, um, man, it's just, just a glorious, glorious game. So looking forward to playing that some more. Looking forward to playing these other pickups as well. Thank you for watching, and I love what you do, all right? Take care, and we'll see ya.